Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. Uh, we're actually going to be leaving today because if uh, a lot of you follow along, I just finished up building this bad boy right here. And today we are going to hopefully put this thing to use for the very first time. Super, super excited. So my buddy Brandon sent me a picture of a tree he's removing and uh, he said it literally has my name on it. So we're going to go watch the removal and then when the tree actually gets down the trunk, we'll see if we can get it onto this thing. Should be pretty big. So it's white oak. Uh, it looks like it's about four feet in diameter and it's about 12 feet long. So it should be up in the, uh, oh, 7,000 pound range, somewhere in there. I'll have a better idea once it's on the ground and I can get some real measurements on it. So let's load up and head out. I'm excited. <laughs> so we're at a uh, church today. This is where Brandon has his job at. There is this white oak tree back here that has some significant dieback has, it looks like maybe it got struck by lightning or something at some point, but uh, we'll get a better view of the canopy in a bit, but there is a ton of dieback. There's a whole crew of people here in the church. They're gonna help remove the wood, repurpose a lot of it, and then hopefully the main trunk will be solid and hauled back to my place.
down here snacking. He's up there working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just lounge around the lawn and have a snack and whatever. Well, I am unfortunately out of time today. I gotta take off. It's my son's birthday tonight, so I gotta go celebrate that. But Brandon made a lot of progress so far today. It's only been up there for a few hours. And what I love about this is this, uh, this church has a uh, daycare center and they're gonna be repurposing so much of this tree. So they've already taken chunks into the daycare area for the kids to you know, jump on and play on and climb on. They got balance beams and all kinds of stuff for the kids. And they also are collecting all of the significant like twiggy branch stuff. So this pile over here, that's for the kids so they can build their own little like forts and shelters or whatever. So really cool child care program here. I just love it. As a father of three young kids, that makes me really happy. So hopefully some will be able to get some footage of the tree coming down. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow and we'll uh, grab a few locks. So instead of dropping the tree last night, they just spent some time doing some cleanup work. And uh, first thing Brandon's gonna do today is get this thing on the ground. And then we'll see about loading it. Probably gonna end up taking this section here will be the base section and then we'll probably grab another log like that as well. So it'll be like a two tripper.
Give you that? I have to tell you, I am super, super ecstatic right now. This went so well. So no issues getting this thing up here. That was uh, the thing I was least worried about. Getting it uh, back here, this thing tows so smoothly. It is insane how well this trailer handles this kind of load. Uh, the estimated weight on this thing with the uh, log weight calculators puts it at 7,700 pounds. I'm just gonna call it eight. <laughs> just to make it a nice even number four uh four tons so that's a uh that's a lot of weight <laughs> so to throw some numbers at you we are 37 inches in the, uh, the narrow area here on this end the other end is 52 inches that's pretty big and the total length is 11 feet so that's a really good sized log this is exactly what this trailer was designed to do. Pick up large urban trees like this guy. And it did it so well. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm so happy. This is a dream trailer for me. It is 100% designed for doing this. No compromises anywhere else to make it do more than one thing. So this is its primary function. And because of that, it uh, does its primary thing 
super, super well. So on this end, you may have already noticed they have some uh, blue stain here that is embedded metal. So somewhere in this location, down that way in the tree, there is some piece of uh, iron or steel in there, a nail, screw, bolt, who knows what. We'll find out what it is. Not super worried about it. One thing uh, it does tell me though is that it is somewhere in this log because these stains are not on the other end of the log. If that metal was higher in the tree above where this was cut off, that stain would be present in both ends of this log. So we have two probably larger things over here and something small over there. Not a big deal. We do have some uh, fracturing here. Also not a huge deal. This is gonna be a really nice uh, character slab log. Oh, can't wait to get on the saw. So it has been a few weeks. I'm out here today. I'm gonna grab the uh, upper section of this tree, this guy here. So I'm gonna get a chain underneath it and just pull up on the trailer. It's uh, you know a lot smaller than the other one, diameter-wise, but it does have a lot more nubbins. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. I have to say I am super thrilled that, uh, you know, it actually worked. That's the best part of building something that's custom made for a task is actually using it for the first time and finding out that it works exactly or even better than you had actually anticipated. So even going down the road with this giant thing on here, I had no problem towing it behind me. The trailer follows steadily behind me and it was uh, very different uh, compared to my old trailer. It was a lot smoother and it just felt a lot, you know, 
safer in general. So super happy I got both these back here. Very quick pickup, which was super nice. So a big thank you to Brandon and the folks at, over at Spirit of Hope for uh, inviting me over to watch the removal and then taking this back here with me. I'm gonna be giving a few of the slabs back so they can make a table or something for the church there, which would be pretty nice. So look for the sawing video for this guy and that guy in the near future. So that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, I have a trailer that works and it's a little bit more scratched than it used to be, <laughs> which, uh, which feels good. It can't, it can't be a showroom trailer. It has to be actually used for something. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the trailer, the sawmill or anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy working.